the windup and the pitch. Now, as you just saw, Mr. Austin fled the scene after throwing the rock through the door, you know, gotta make sure no alarms going off, make sure no cops show up, but he's back 10 minutes later and he brought a squeegee this time. Obviously, don't want to cut up your body breaking through the door, so he sneaks through the bottom right there, and he's going to make his way up to the counter, because obviously, he wants some cash. So, he's going to reach up there, and he's like, ooh, I think I can get in there. So, he's going to sneak around the corner right here, and obviously, they left the door wide open. Ooh! That sucks. Looks like it's locked. Now, he's going to have to resort to plan B because obviously he's not getting any cash. So he makes his way up to the counter and obviously it takes a lot of energy to do this. So he's going to replenish his energy by grabbing some five hours right there. And then he changes his mind because he sees the lottery display. And obviously those aren't real tickets, dummy. Come on now. So he has no clue what to grab now, but he spots the beef jerky. So he grabs all the beef jerky. He's going to shake it. Yep. He got it all and he's going to make his way towards the door, but a car is driving by so he's thinking oh probably shouldn't go out there yet they'll spot me so he decides you know what i do want some energy so he's gonna grab some of the knockoff five hours and he's just completely perplexed by this lottery display Gotta make sure you throw that credit card swiper on the ground. So he makes his way outside the store with his 50 sticks of beef jerky and energy shots. And he's gonna come back 10 minutes later with a big rock. Wonder what he's gonna do with that thing. So he makes his way inside the store and he clearly still wants some cash. So he's gonna make his way back towards the register area again. Nope, couldn't break it. Come on, little buddy. Try again. Second time is a charm. Uh, guess not. He's going to try the lock, you know, just in case it broke that. But it didn't, so he's going to slowly creep around the store. He's peeking out the window, making sure nobody saw him. He's going to make his way towards the coolers while he's ducking down, because, you know, maybe he wants a drink, but apparently he doesn't. So he's going to creep his way back up to the front counter area. Ooh, what do we got here? That was kind of weak, but luckily he brought in that squeegee jackpot now it looks like he's gonna go with the predator action figure first then he's gonna grab a bluetooth earpiece then he's gonna grab a box of headphones because everybody knows gas stations sell the best headphones you know they're probably bose or jbl he's gonna grab a taser because obviously he's gonna need that later now he's gonna grab an electronic smoking device that he sees and he's gonna grab a wireless charging pad because his iphone 11 pro max is about to die now he's going to make his way back towards the door and he's going to sneak out the box him one more time that's right this was his last visit of the night now he's going to scoot on out of here with his handful of electronics that i can only assume he's going to sell on the street she go if you know this thief let him know that he needs to turn himself into the local authorities so we can properly have him charged with breaking and entering and with theft for stealing beef jerky energy shots a predator action figure bluetooth earpiece Bose headphones, a taser, a smoking device, and wireless charging pad.